Hi folks, Alex Klingelhafer here with Exential Wealth Advisors. It's 8.09 here in the middle part of the country. On Thursday, it's June 17th, 2021. Here's your morning jog around the economic headlines of the world. The Justice Department is blocking the combination of Aon with Willis Towers Watson. Now, of course, those two companies are two of the biggest corporate companies insurance brokers in the world. Let me give you an example, the size of the scale of these businesses. So for private multi-carrier exchanges, if Aon and WTW were to combine, they would control about 95% of the market for those exchanges. You know, something like uh, you know, 40% uh, each of them uh, combines and they would send a couple of other folks out of business. So. Clearly, you know, Will Sowers, Watson, Aon want that to happen. They want a monopoly in that market, among many others. They've been divesting some properties to try to combine. I think the, certainly the current administration, the Justice Department says, hey, if you have 90% of a market, 95% of a market, typically you're not going to be allowed to combine entities because that's just too much power in the hands of one small company. It's bad for consumers. Justice Department doing their job. Mitotech has a new drug delivery system. Here's the basics of why they're up about 50% in the market today. They have a system where you get a shot and a drug releases over a week or a month. So instead of taking a pill each and every day to go ahead and maybe sometimes you forget, sometimes you, you know, get busy, life gets hectic, just get one shot a month. You go back to your doctor's office or a CVS when you need another shot, get another shot, and the drug releases over time. Of course, that's a tremendous new delivery system. Uh, it uses some uh, what Qsenera technology. I think I have that right. But I think it's a, a great technology, and we'll see if they can continue to do well. Mitotech again up 50% on the news. Could be an interesting little name there. Last but not least, before we get you off to a nice Thursday, 11 uh, GOP senators are now on the infrastructure, the Senate uh, bipartisan infrastructure package uh, that was bandied about last week by about 10 uh, bipartisan lawmakers in Washington. It comes in about a trillion dollars. Remember, Democrats trying to keep the infrastructure package above a trillion, Republicans trying to keep it below. It looks like it's going to come on right about $1 trillion. A key for this infrastructure package, and I think a win for the English language, it's all roads, bridges, schools, etc. It's all hard assets, not so-called soft infrastructure. I quite frankly don't really know what that means, but it's all hard physical assets. Could see commodity prices go up even higher if you have another trillion dollars of spending into those kinds of hard assets. Of course, hot rolled steel just hit another high yesterday it's now above seventeen hundred dollars per coil we are starting to see materials ramp up quite a bit again here in the u.s of course china is doing some price controls over there trying to keep the global commodity market in check as we see lots of economic growth that's a good thing if you have one additional information throughout the week of course as always feel free to follow me on twitter it's okc cfa cfp until then i'm out